Hello and welcome to MJ School of Mining and Geology Private Tutoring YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and ring the bell for more videos like this. In today's lesson we are going to learn more about determination of europium EU, anomaly. The europium anomaly, in geochemistry, is the phenomenon whereby europium concentration is either depleted or enriched in a rock relative to the other rare earth elements. A europium anomaly is said to be negative if europium is depleted relative to the other rare earth elements if the europium concentration ratio is then 1 and is said to be positive if europium is enriched relative to the other rare earth elements if the europium concentration ratio is greater than 1. In reduced or alkaline conditions, the europium 3 plus is unstable, therefore will be converted into the most stable europium 2 plus. However, this europium 2 plus is similar in size and charge to the calcium 2 plus in the plagioclase, therefore this europium 2 plus will become compatible or partitioned readily into the plagioclase feldspar. Depletion or enrichment is generally attributed to europium's tendency to be incorporated readily into plagioclase preferentially over other minerals. If a magma crystallizes plagioclase, most of the europium will be incorporated into this mineral. The rest of the magma will then relatively be depleted in europium. If this europium depleted magma then gets separated from its plagioclase crystals and subsequently solidifies, its chemical composition will display a negative europium anomaly, simply because most of the europium is locked up in the plagioclase, leaving behind the magma depleted in plagioclase. Conversely, if magma accumulates plagioclase crystals before solidification, its rock composition will display a relatively positive europium anomaly.